we now come to explore the relation between the field and the potential okay let us say we have two equipotential surfaces let us say we have two equipotential surfaces So these are two equipotential surfaces, okay? And let us say, and, and we know that the equipotential surfaces will be, will be perpendicular to the field, okay? So the field is, is something like this. Say so it, it, it goes from here through this and emerges out from here. And it emerges out of here. So this is E. Okay. This is E. Fine. The distance, this distance between this and this point is delta L. Okay. We designate this to be V plus delta V while this potential is v okay fine so so we say let there be two there be two closely spaced equipotential surfaces equipotential surfaces at potential V plus delta V and V okay and V yeah some change yes let E be the electric field let E be the electric field and delta L be the perpendicular distance between the perpendicular distance between the between the equipotential surfaces between the equi potential surfaces right okay fine now how do i find out the potential difference I, I start from here and move in the direction move in the direction in which I have to do the work right so I, I take a one coulomb plus one coulomb of charge on the upper equipotential surface and from there along this line I travel down okay so 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 I should uh, so I should say that that this this equipotential surface is A, this is B, this is this is P, this is this is say R. Q normally stands for charge, so I'm using R. Okay. 
सो लेट अस टेक अ प्लस वन कूलम चार्ज ऑन द एक भी पोटेंशियल सरफेस बी ओके एंड पी आर एस डेल्टा एंड मूव टूवर्ड्स द सरफेस ए ओके सो वॉट इज द द फोर्स experienced by plus 1 coulomb charge is equal to 1 into e that is e okay that is e what is the work done work done is equal to is equal to e into dl delta l right i'm moving along the same direction in which i am in which the force is applied on me right so so i am moving along this direction so this is the work that i do okay so what happens what happens v plus delta v plus the work done is equal to v is it not is it not whatever is the potential here plus whatever work you do with plus 1 coulomb of charge that gives you the potential on the potential at the other point no so what do we get what do we get this is this is a positive this is a positive work now what happens what happens is e del l is equal to minus del v this is positive left hand side is positive so del v will have to be b negative in sign right it will it will have to be of negative sign fine as the lhs is a positive number the rhs should also be positive for this to happen delta v should be negative and why not you should have guessed it quite early this was the this has to be at a lower potential is it not <laughs> you are moving in the direction of the field you will be working you will be doing work only in moving in the opposite direction to the field correct so the higher potentials will be will be in the direction opposite to the electric field do you understand that okay you should always always keep that in mind so delta v should be negative there, therefore i i write it as delta v is minus mod delta v you understand i have made it absolutely negative right correct now if i put this here i get e delta l is equal to minus of 
माइनस मॉड डेल्टा वी विच इज मॉड डेल्टा वी दिस ई इज रिप्रेजेंट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ई सो वॉट डू आई गेट आई गेट दैट मॉड ऑफ ई इज मॉड ऑफ डेल्टा वी अपॉन डेल्टा एम do we get that do we get that okay fine 